right. Let's let's take a let's take a look at your poll. This is anonymous poll, so I don't know who responded. What. Look at the look at the poll results. Can you guys see it? The poll results. Can y'all see it? Give me a thumbs yeah. up. All right. Yeah. No, I don't see it. All right, let me reshare. Oh, you're still on the the yeah. luxury homes golf course. Here we go. You guys ready? Can you then give me a thumbs up? You can see it now. No. 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 Right. I'll read them to you. How about that? <laughs> so, hundred percent of you guys participated. That's why I love y'all. All right. So, what type of lifestyle interests you the most? Forty percent said urban living, enjoy the convenience of city life and modern amenities. Another forty percent said luxury lifestyle. I appreciate high-end living, luxury homes, and upscale neighborhoods. The 20% said outdoor enthusiasts. I love nature, outdoor activities, and scenic views. Second question was, which of the following aligns with your passion? Passion. Woo! 60% said real estate investments. I'm intrigued by investment opportunities and potential rental income. 33% 33% said waterfront properties. I'm captivated by properties near lakes, rivers, and the ocean. 7% said golf course living. I enjoy golfing and believe um, an appeal of golf course community. 0% said retirement communities, right? Which is 55 plus. Three, which buyer demographic appeals to you? The largest response was 53% said families. I am passionate about helping families find spacious homes and family-friendly neighborhoods. The next largest group was 20%, young professionals. I connect with young adults seeking urban condos and trendy living. Another 20% said luxury buyers, and 7% said active seniors. Four, what are your networking strengths? Uh, there was a tie for the first place. 33% says social media savvy. I'm comfortable using social media to connect with potential clients. Another 33% said industry professionals. I can easily collaborate with builders, developers, and uh, industry experts. 27% said specialty clubs. I have connections within niche-related clubs or organizations. And 7% said your networking strengths are social media. Okay, social media. So if you if you kind of look at this, right, real estate investments, uh, families, social media, and urban living, right? So this should help you niche down to some areas that that not only align with your gifts, where you can take your gift and fuel your passion. Right? Take your gift and fuel your passion. Don't work, don't start from your passion, start with your gift. So if you have a gift of whatever it may be, here's all your communities. Now, so we also must know what? What's happening in the economy? You gotta know what's happening in the economy at all times. So in the economy right now, the biggest group of people right now are baby boomers. Right? Baby boomers. People are getting ready to sell their business that are 55 and older their families do not want the business the kids do not want the business it's a very successful business this is that's why people talk about this being the biggest time in history for wealth transfer because you could buy a business that's been in existence for 20 or 30 years that's highly profitable and just finance it for a long amount of time and and just walk into a million dollar opportunity Right? How would you do that? You can Google business brokers and start contacting them. There's a ton of businesses that are for sale, tons that are lucrative with high returns. It's just the person has gotten older and they want to take some money and go do the fuel their passions. Right? They they did their worked in their gift. Now they want to go fuel their passions. So reach out to a business broker if that that's the quickest way for you to build wealth. That's why Tony Robbins owns 105 companies. Right. I mean, four hundred over 400 companies because you just buy an existing business when people are ready just to move on. I mean, and then you just, find, you know, you can, you can get bank finance, get commercial lenders with a lot of finance you money to buy franchises, all kinds of different things. You don't need a lot of money. You just need a 640 credit score. Right. And you need some money down, but you could raise money with a, just how many people here? 15 of us. 
we could, you could make a hundred, you could get 150,000 by tomorrow morning. Just ask all of us for 10,000, right? Some of you guys are like, I ain't giving you no 10,000. But it depends on, depends on the contract, right? <laughs>